Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name's Jolie, and today's reading is going to be September 28th. So here we go. It's our book. Each day, new beginning. We take the cards out of the placeholder. How you guys doing? How you doing? It's good and chilly out. All right. September 28th, there's a quote from Golda Meyer, and it says, I can honestly say that I was never affected by the question of the success of an undertaking. If I felt it was the right thing to do, I was for it regardless of the possible outcome. I can honestly say that I was never affected by the question of a success of an undertaking. If I felt it was the right thing to do, I was for it regardless of the possible outcome. Golda Meyer. All right, and then it says, living a principled life is what the inner self desires. It's what God desires. And it's what the healthier ego desires. Living the program's principles is giving each of us practice in living a principled life, one that is free of guilt for our shortcomings. So having principles assures direction. We need not ponder long how to proceed in any situation. What decision to make regarding any matter when we are guided by principles. They offer us completeness when we are guided by principles. They help us define who we are and who we will be in any turn of events. As people, as humans here, particularly as recovering people, we have struggled with self-definition. Often we were as others defined us, or we merely imitated those close by. Sometimes we may slip into old behavior or lose sight of who we are and how we want to live. It's then that the program's principles come immediately to our aid. So there is no doubt about how today should be lived. I will do it with confidence and joy. So it's talking about the principles of the program. Living a principled life is what my inner self desires. And... Um, I do believe that, and it helps me to, like, seek that, seek that place, and, um, like, the next right step and all that stuff, you know, fits into that, and um, what the quote implies to me uh, is that with my principles, I, I'm just going to go for it, I'm going to if it feels right, I'm just going to do it regardless of the possible outcome. So, um, cause I, it, hel it helps with that direction. I think that that's short and sweet and, um, good to go. Um, what are the principles of the problem? Let me see here. If there's any type of Let me see if I can do a little bit in Paths to Recovery. Paths to Recovery is the book that we use for the step work. We are um, currently in, um, we're, we're going to be finishing step three on the next meeting. And um, let me see if the principles are in here. Mm -hmm. the principles of the program. 
Well, anyhow, we can. Um... <laughs> Sorry. So there's concepts and traditions. And um, I feel like I'm doing disservice here, I'm not having those ready. I just didn't read it beforehand. I think that's a an excuse. Um, do's and don'ts and the road back. This is really a cool thing. So I don't know, like maybe we can talk about um, how this is going to help. Like our personal situations may be different, right? Absolutely. They're always different, but we share as equals because of what we have in common. Our lives have been affected by another person's uh, drinking or addictions, and that may also include our own, right? We've been affected by our own addictions and issues, as well as others in our lives. Um, also, um, you know, where we try to control other people because of that tendency to try to do that. And that's delusional, uh, it's, um, that distorted thinking because learn that we cannot control other people's actions or attitudes or perceptions. We can only work with our own. Right. Um, so when I started reading the daily reflections, and I have uh, many on this channel, um, I did it so that I would show up for myself first and foremost, so that I would be able to have some, some of that, uh, principled, um, base for myself so that I was able to give that, to actually have it to give. And I have learned that I can't give what I don't have. So, um, so I, um, I'm reading here, it says, we can find understanding and support when we share our common experience with each other. So some of us here um, because we're here because of like a spouse or a partner or a relative or a coworker or somebody who has struggled with addiction. And um, sometimes, you know, it's, it's a, you know, like a family member, you know, like a brother or a sister. Um, many of us have more than one um, addictive you know, an addiction person in our family um, or a friend, right? So alcoholism and addiction has similar effects on us all, even though our relationships to the addict may be different, right? Many who are new um, are most interested in hearing about situations and relationships that are familiar to their own. Over time, however, we come to understand that we can benefit from hearing how this program with its principles worked in many different circumstances. So um, it's not a religious fellowship at all because you get to choose your higher power however that looks for you you just want something that is going to um encourage and be benevolent and so that you can connect to a spiritual um essence so that um 
Like when you pray, you're praying to the universe or God, whatever you call it. And um, so that you know that you're not alone. And sometimes that's like group members, you know, like when, you know, like if you go, if and when you go to meetings, you can, you know, they say God is good, orderly direction. And that could be a principle for you. And, um, or maybe it, you have, you know, an, an image or a connection already with your higher power. So um, there's no um, right or wrong way. Um, so, um, and what else? Um, can I even just say here, I think that that's part of what the principles are. It's like having a higher power, um, doing the next right thing, um, going to meetings, reading every day, praying, um, so that you can do the next right thing, um, have an attitude of gratitude, things like that can, um, uh, like, I mean, while we, you know, start, um, like the effects with, let me, let me put it this way. Um, but the effects that we get from other people using or drinking or, you know, the way that they act, you know, like, um, you know, we don't know what their mood's going to be or if they're going to, or, you know, even, you know, just literally you can bring this into all walks of your life. Like for me, customers that come into the store or coworkers or family members. I mean, like I was affected by addiction in my life. I even became, you know, part of that lifestyle myself. And now I'm, I'm, I'm abstinent. So in my worldview, like I am the one who was affected. So then that's how my perceptions are. And so I have, I work on that every day. So then when I deal with people, help people service others. I'm doing it with, um, with that in my heart, like to, I'm able to have, um, a, a more successful approach to living for me and my experience with this program and the principles that guide it. So, um, um, I was able to change my thinking and work on that daily. I work on that daily um, so that I can make new and successful approaches in my life to my living. Um, I learned to deal with um, obsession. I learned to deal with anxiety and anger and denial and feelings of guilt. Um, it is through this, this fellowship and this, the principles that I um, can ease my emotional burdens by sharing my experience, strength and hope with others. And that's why I'm so open here. And um, so little by little, I came to realize that the meetings and um, as much as discomfort, you know, that, that I was in um, and haven't, you know, it's not like gone. It's, it's not one and done. It's like, like it comes up and it goes down, comes up and comes down. So um, it comes from my attitude, like the discomfort comes from my attitude. So with the principles of this program, like I said, this reading today helped me remember this in a more structured way. So beginning, you know, like I can, I can change my attitudes, begin to do that um, daily and, uh, and learn about my responsibility uh, to others. 
and to myself. Uh, I discovered feelings of self-worth and self-love and um, my growth spiritually, um, where the emphasis beginning uh, to be lifted from uh, from the alcoholic or the person that the reason why I came in here or the people that I came in here for, that emphasis, um, I was able to switch it and place it where I do have the power on my own life and what I can do in order to be happy. So that's where I, my emphasis from on the others and and their actions and their dramas and oh my gosh and all this and if they would only do that or like the same thing goes for anybody in my life if if my customers would only do that or if my family would only do that or if, you know the traffic would only do they would do like the right way you know then I would be happy no me if I would perceive it in a different way, oh, well, the traffic is the way it is. Maybe I need to leave earlier so I don't stress out. Me, uh, my customers are all grumpy. Well, maybe if I say, I hope, you know, how are you guys doing today? Like, let's, let me see what I can do to help you. Like I can change my attitude, right? And I can be happy no matter what, no matter how grumpy they are. Because you know, bless them, change me. Same with anybody in my life. It's my perception. It's the way I start my day. And that's why I, the principle that I, I really love is the prayer in the morning and at night. And it's simple. And let's just say it. Okay, here we go. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Be present here. We're okay right now. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, to have the courage to change the things that I can, and wisdom to know the difference. And I'll say this third step prayer with you too. This is what I say in the morning and at night. God, I offer myself to thee to build with me and do with me as thou wilt. Relieve me of the bondage of self so that I may better do thy will. Take away my difficulties so that victory over them bear witness to those I would help. With thy love, power, and way of life, may I do thy will always. Amen. All right, so keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it. And um, thank you guys for your comments. And um, let me go ahead and... Uh, Oh, just adjust myself here. Cause I'm sitting on a, on a ball next to my bed. So if you hear any squeaking, it's from that. Um, it's what I like. I'm actually down on my like it's down on my knees next to my bed, and um, this is where I do my prayers. So fitting for the new readings that I've been reading. And um, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the 3rd of o wait, October, yes. We'll have a meeting. Um, I will be sending out uh, the Zoom links. So look for those, for those who've sent me an email. Hello. And I look forward to um, seeing you there at the meeting. I'm working on getting off early that night because I'm scheduled until eight. So I'm going to figure that one out. It always works out somehow. So let's see how that goes. And um, <clears throat> all right. So this is the lover's card. Lover's card is about the choices we need to make about showing up in relationships right we give only what we have and we when we come together there are two people with 
the connection to the higher power themselves, their mind and their body. So, you know, as that connection, that triangle, that love triangle, <laughs> basically there's choices to be made, choices to be made. And also things of ourselves that we, that we give away in order to have relationship, whether that's partnership or any type of relationship, we, there's the give and take of that. So, um, needing to choose and there's also affection that's, that's included just, um, like the principles of this program, like going back to that is the choices that we make for ourselves in order to remain happy the best we can daily, one day at a time. So what does that look like for you? What is it what kind of choices and things do we um, give of ourselves uh, in that, um, in relationship? All right. Mm. I love you guys. And I'm going to go and um, like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that. So um, we're growing. We're growing one day at a time. I love you guys. Bye.